Well, that hype will surely live. We have right now on screen Hetty, who is a Isabel player, and we have Shiny Mark. Um, Netty, uh, it's well known here in the community, and as he made a special cosplay by by himself for Isabel, and we start another round of Smash Bros. And Pikachu starts attacking with his spark, but Isabel just pockets the spark, and both are starting with an aggressive game that almost looked like an upstairs knockout, but no, everybody is still on the stage while while Neri is still racking up damage. That Pikachu just wants to counter attack and rack up the damage themselves. It's an interesting matchup, actually. I don't know if any, both of the players has matchup against each other's characters. I mean, Isabel is a really like obscure uh, kind of character. I only know like Neri who plays her. But it's going to be interesting. I mean, Pikachu is uh, considered uh, like the best character in the game. But I think Neri is going to be having like uh, some good like knowledge of the game whatsoever. So let's hope uh, we get like some interesting interaction right there. And yes, indeed, we will have some interesting interactions over here. Now that we're returning to a quasi neutral game, yet nobody wants to. Nobody wants to start. Everybody's shielding. This is becoming a game of attrition. There goes the first stock against Neri. And so, Neri needs to start playing with more caution if he wants to win this. As far as I know, he he was one of the best Isabels, am I right? I think it's the best Isabel like in the world. I mean, there's not much like competition about it. And Shiny Mark is actually fighting for the best Pikachu in the world. We know uh, Isam right there, nice uh, read with the down smash, green the tech. Uh, I, I think Shiny Mark has the potential to be like the uh, world's best Pikachu. Just needs a little bit of result, and I think Smash Factor is the perfect opportunity to get it. But the, right now, it's giving like uh, it's losing a little bit against him. Okay, so we're, as we were seeing, we had a quite aggressive game, yet we are almost at stalemates right now. Uh, the, I don't know if the if the platforms may favor one or another character. We have indeed a duel of titans. Will this be a knockout? No, for not for now. We still have those characters still at stage and they are pressuring each other. We are back at a game of attrition right here, right now. Will that be it? No, it wasn't enough. Neri needs and may need an more damage and another up throw to secure that stock. Or maybe try to, uh, like, uh, like I said, they're going to the back throw, uh, taking advantage of the uh, low blast on the sides of Tanon City, but now with the Thunder, is going to be taking the stock. Even Steven, the first game is going to be really interesting. Uh, also, they told us like uh, the sets are going to be best of five, so the adaptation for both players is going to be a uh, key in, in this matchup. Okay, so we're having uh, even higher stakes because we may get some long games and th that may wear off the players. Yet, uh, everybody wants to go 3-0, but uh, nothing is uh, oh, secured here, and there go No, there wasn't! They are still fighting! They are still here! Uh, come on, Nettie, you can hear on the other side of this of the stage. Everybody is at stalemate. Uh, Pikachu with double damage from Isabel. Isabel just saying, I'm not gonna surrender to you. This, this is it! It is it, indeed! Nelly takes the first game of his set! Yeah, Nelly, really good counterplay. Uh, making a shiny mark shield and then uh, trying to grab it uh, with the with the fishing rod is going to be interesting in, in this matchup. And shiny mark is going to be like, the let's get the run back uh, right, real quick. Let's go, let's take advantage of the momentum that, uh, that he has. And, Let's see if we can adapt uh, to Neri's play. I mean, Isabel is a really, really obscure matchup, so I don't know if uh, maybe he is trying to figure it out as it goes, but right now Neri with the advantage. Okay, so we return to town and city here, and we are seeing a more cautious game on behalf of the other, of the two players. And well, uh, Isabel starts with the damage, but Pikachu it just wants to chain that, those grabs and wreck the damage against Neri. We see a Pika Tornado over there, but will it be for for letting Neri out? No, it wasn't. And so Neri is at it again. We return to a neutral stance and we are at game. 
Yeah, I think uh, Shinymar is going to be uh, needs to like take advantage a little bit more of the Edgard in game that Pikachu has the best recovery in the game, the best guard in the game also. And Isabel is having like a little uh, linear recovery, not as linear as villagers, but the fishing rod helps uh, a lot with that. But you can go like uh, bunkers on on the on the Edgard in game. So let's try to see if Shinymar can do it. Yes. So. We have again both at uh, dangerous numbers over here. Yet, oh, that parry put Neri at a high disadvantage. But we may, will we be able to see a comeback just like the other time that Neri took? Ooh, that's yes, nice. Neri took again the first talk. But will he be able to come back? What do you say, Fredo? I think so. I mean, he's a really, really nice player. He is like a momentum-based player. Sometimes he like fits on on the on the salt of the other players. It's going to take it with the up smash. Uh, he no, he says like he plays Isabel just to get the opponent uh, upset that he is losing to one of the worst characters in the game. So that's uh, that's going to be like uh, Neri's plan right over there, trying to get like one of the best characters in the game. is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. So. Uh... You have to t uh, hit them when they were they least expe expected, right? Uh, you never know that sometimes power comes from just being constant and not only from sheer force. And we are seeing that actually. We are seeing that Neri is taking care of himself while Pikachu has has wrecked some damage. Oi, that throw will be very dangerous on the long run. And Pikachu does Ooh. the oi. Oi, we told you here, those throws were gonna be very, very dangerous. Also the positioning, I really like it. Like he knows Shiny Mario is going to be doing like the normal get up or even the get up uh, with the jump and then the, the fishing or last position like in a really, really good way. And Neri is going to be with those combos. I, I mean, Neri is playing out of his mind right now. He's uh, making Isabel work really, really well against uh, that Shiny Mark Pikachu. I mean, the, the matchup in experience is going to be showing right there. And the momentum that Neri is getting is a really, really, really interesting factor. Oh, yes. Again, yet we have Pikachu over here being uh, kind of uh, an annoyance to that Isabel as we see them both on red numbers. They are both angry, yet uh, possibly Pikachu will get the upper hand out of this rage. I don't know if the rage mechanic is just like Lucario's aura, that the one with the least stocks gets the more kick out of it. But we see that Neri is just putting so much pressure on Shiny Mark. Oh. And nice. no, it wasn't. We are still continuing for a little while over oh. all over here. And oh, again upstairs. Natty wins the second game. Natty is 2 0 on, on Shiny Mark. And we know, like, uh, Shiny Mark has another character. I mean, he can maybe play with the Dark Pit or, or the Lucina to try to. to work something out because uh, Pikachu isn't like working as well. He got two stuck. Uh, Neri is going to be uh, playing better and better any uh, time passes. So I I think Shiny Mar is thinking about it or maybe a, a stage candor be because Town and City is not working for him. Yes, so we are still returning to Town and City. Uh, everybody wants to get advantage of that narrow stage on the, on the edges. Uh, it's a small edge box, so um, we need to see who will get the more kick out of it. And we start again. This time an even more cautious start on behalf of both men at the stage. Yet, no, Isabel opens the damage and just... Well, what can you say, Fredo? I, I'm, I'm really liking like the Shiny Mark's like confidence in, in that Pikachu. I mean, he got like smoked uh, last game, but now he's trying to... To, to get the run back, I mean, he's doing it like really, really well. I, I mean, Neri is in a, a dangerous position for the first time. But yes. Yeah, I'm uh, really liking it. An apology. It was a reminder to take some water. We remind you, you have to take some water too. And stay hydrated in these uh, times of heat. And heat indeed, because nobody is yielding for that stock. And, well, how can I say this? This is, this is it again, a game of attrition. You will hear it a lot of from, from me, but uh, there will be certain points every single game where, where everybody is going to pressure everyone. 
and they will play around that pressure to see who yields first. Will Neri yield to the pressure first? And yes, he did! Neri loses his first stock, and Pika and Shiny Mark, I think, has some confidence returned to him. Yeah, and I don't know it will be considered like an upset. Uh, I don't know who is still uh, below uh, who, but now I'm really liking Shiny Mark. He's like getting his confidence back. I mean, he's playing like really, really good. That, uh, that this third game is uh, turning the tables a little bit, but the thing is Neri is going to be like uh, in an advantage, uh, even counter pick wise in the next games, even if Shiny Mark win this. Well, um, I hope I hope Neri has not taken too much confidence on his abilities because that's what, if you let me say a little story, that's what could have lost Eddie the title of Le Melee Legend here yesterday, here at Factor, at the Encuentro de Melee Competitivo Latinoamericano. Yet, I hope that's not the case over here because remember, this is just getting started even if they are 2 nil right now. Yeah, I mean, it, the, the place has been really, really good from both of, of them. But Neri's one, uh, at 170, so right now anything is going to be killing like this. That was really nice, but not not enough to kill. I, I mean, it was a sour spot, but he was like over the top blast. So I'm a little bit uh, concerned right now for Neri. An up throw is going to be enough. The dash attack, obviously, is going to be enough. A really, really good dash attack. And now Shiny Mark is with the with advantage, but the thing is, he's at 145. So. Let's see, Neri can uh, take advantage of that, but now the lightning loops are taking really, really nice damage. Oh, this is looking so grim for Neri, who had the upper hand during the first two games, is now losing that paw to Pikachu, who is now trying to recover the upper paw over here. Yet, uh, Neri is counterattacking. He is strong. Ooh. Yet, will it be enough to knock him out? Yes, yes it was! That yes! The game is now 2-1, and things are just getting heated up. I mean, the, the thing is uh, right here that you, you can tell like a shiny marks adapting a little bit. Uh, you know, like uh, Isabel and Bella just like to do like the slingshot uh, of stage, and uh, that was not not even going to hit and uh, Shiny Mark took advantage of that. I see that Neri is, is switching controllers. I mean, I, I see that he's uh, putting his controller away. Maybe that's a, like a controller issue that he has. But the first two games, they were, there was not an issue at all. So I don't know if he's going to be trying that or, or what. Okay, maybe an issue with calibration. I don't know. We can see both players from up here. And okay, the, yeah. I think there will be uh, an adjustment with the controllers. Uh, we see he's pulling the cord on his controller. And we will have to wait to what is going to happen right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm really liking, like uh, like I said, like the Shiny Marks adaptation on, the, on this third game was really, really, uh, really nice. But I think Neri is going to be having like the counter pick advantage right now. So uh, Shiny Mark is going to be trying to go like, I think it was small barfield or regular barfield, I don't know. But you know, they're selecting like the songs to, to be it. So, so small barfield right now, the pick. Mm. So again, a small stage uh, possibly could favor Neri, but even even could favor Pikachu because we've seen that even if Pikachu doesn't have the strongest attacks the small edge box of the stage may be a factor to get the knockout so we start the next we start the next match and Neri wants to open being aggressive but that Pikachu shiny mark has indeed adapted and has been using Neri thrice four times as a volleyball so now now Neri is saying, oh, uh, you little rats, you are going to get the volleyball treatment. I wasn't very fond of it, so it's now your turn. And, okay, so we see the up combos again, and almost the Lloyd rocket. Yet, nothing hits, nothing connected, and we are again at almost even, even grounds in terms of damage, but who has the better stage control? Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, I, I really like, like, now they, they use it, but you cannot be on, on top of that Lloyd Rocket there again, you know, try to use, like, this intangibility right now to to get rid of the Lloyd Rocket, but 
I mean, that's the best tool Neri has. I mean, he's like extraordinary of that. That was a really, really nice down smash read. But now he's not going to be taking it, the, the stock, quite yet. But now he's going to be it. Yeah, so we're... We expect we're seeing a very aggressive game on behalf of the two men upstairs. Get... Get uh, people in the chat who... Uh, please be commenting us your own impressions about this. And... Let us hope that we have uh, one of the best experiences over here. So if you could excuse us a moment, uh, I need to drink a little bit of water. Yeah, I mean, we're having like uh, a little bit of a, a strange situation right now. So uh, we're hoping to, to see if we can get like the, the game for that we like deserve, right? Okay, we got now the the game again. So right now Neri is going to be taking the advantage again. I mean, we know how strong Neri can be in this advantage situation. Shiny Mark is going to be uh, two stocks away from getting like uh, sent to the loser bracket. So right now. Okay, so I've returned and. Oh dear, we're seeing again uh, an almost even situation. Pikachu pressuring with his sparks, but Neri uh, trying to regain stage control so he so he can knock out that Pikachu to to the other side. But that Pikachu with the uppers, oh dear, will it will that be enough for an elevator? Well, no, no, it wasn't enough to knock Neri out. Both are enraged. Both want to savor that victory. Neri yeah. is about to move on, but no, he no, he didn't get knocked out this time. Yeah, I mean, they, they, are, they know uh, both uh, that they cannot like be uh, taking a high risk in this uh, kind of situation. This is stuck and the next one is going to be like really, really important for both of them. I mean, Shiny Mark is trying to get with the with the Thunder Jolt to get maybe a, a dash attack confirmed. Maybe an up throw is going to be taking it. The dash attack is going to be taken. The stock, but now Neri is an, uh, a really nice bot. I, I mean, he just needs like a, a confirm, maybe an upper or maybe a, a slingshot right now to take Shiny Mark's uh, stock. But now, let's see uh, how can they do it. Okay, we have Neri at a disadvantage over here, but he wants to put that pressure on the Pikachu, and there he put it. An up throw was enough to knock that Pikachu out. And we are again at an almost even situation while Isabel is getting damage against her. Well, okay, that's I going to be like the, the Neri special, like the, the thing with the jabs. But now, uh, things have been a little bit uh, better right now. So it's going to be doing it really, really well. The neutral is going to be reset. I, I'm, I'm really liking the, the position where he's putting like the, the Lloyd rocket there right now, Neri, trying to to cover as much stage as possible right now. So the limitations uh, that he puts on Shiny Mark's neutral, but the, the quick attack does not care about it. Oh no. We Here we have Neri very pressured, but he is answering to that pressure. He just wants to get that Pikachu. He wants to advance to the round of 64, Ooh. I guess. Oof, that almost was it, but no. It just missed by some, some inches over there. Ooh. Now we are again kind of even, kind of even with damage and and everything is just getting more tense, people. More and more tense. We, I cannot see this, Fredo. I'm just losing my words. Yeah, I mean, there's a really high stake situation. Any hit will will kill from both of the, the players right now. That, that was a really, really nice trump. He's going to be taking it. They're going to game five right now, people. Uh, well, it started like a really, really bad situation for trying to mark right now. He's playing those two games like really, really well. But the, the thing is, it was also last stock, last hit. So he does not uh, need to lose his focus right now. Yep. Neri needs to regain confidence in himself, but not go overdo it because, oh dear, overconfidence is so bad for the morale right now. So we're going to the tiebreaker game to see who advances to the next 
set next part of the round of 128. Yeah, I mean, uh, game five for our first uh, set is going to be like a really weird uh, premise that we're, we're going to be seeing here. I mean, it's the biggest tournament like in Latin America uh, ever, so we are expecting to see some very, really good sets. Mm -hmm. So we're still seeing a very, a very conservative game on behalf of both of them. Uh, Isabel is trying to get into the get the damage, but she's the one getting the damage done against herself with those ups, downs. I don't, I don't know which ways they are going because everybody wants to taste the glory out of this match. So everybody is just going all out on this. Really liking like the stage counter pick as well, a little bit less space to, to work around it. So that was a really nice counter pick. The thing is, China Mark is uh, doing like uh, really, really well uh, despite despite it. But we have an even game right now, so any any interaction uh, next is going to be deciding maybe even the set. Somehow. Yeah, every single mistake here counts against the players. And we see a Pika Tornado that almost wanted to be a knockout. We see Neri counter-attacking over there to get that knockout. But no, it wasn't enough. Will the quick attack be enough? Yes, it was to recover for for Shiny Mark. Yet, we saw some spacing over there. And nobody wants to be able to be the first one taken to the knockout. Yeah. And Okay. Neri, Neri. Oh, yes, it was Neri's first talk. He needs to do, he needs to do everything fine, everything precise, everything correct, surgical, just to save her victory on the next round. The thing is, like Shiny Mark is not overextending. I mean, he doesn't go like for the untrue like uh, combos. He just wants to reset neutral, and with the quick attacks, a really good position to do it. And right now, Neri is going to be a little bit more desperate to get in the kill, and he's going to be taking a little bit more damage. That was a really nice link shot to get out of the backer. Now the, the quick attack uh, usage for Shiny Mark in these three games has been really, really nicely. That's going to be it. No, I, I think he could maybe do like a down smash, but didn't get like in quite the position right. Okay, this time Shiny Mark doing a more precise, a more, a more clean game. Even though of old, oh, okay, one one single sneeze against uh, against that Pikachu, it spelled trouble. And now it's spelling trouble against Isabel because she's practically two, three stocks down. I mean, or two, uh, well, has a, a very big disadvantage, if you know what I mean. Uh, I hope I made myself clear. Yeah, or, or, or maybe he's going to be taking advantage of that rage that he's gaining at like, 115. I mean, Pikachu struggles a little bit with killing with the, the dash attack sometimes. It's a little bit uh, televised, but right now that was a really nice... A <laughs> really nice interaction for both of them. I mean, uh, with the mistake from the nearest part and maybe taking the stuff from the Angel platform. Oh dear. Will this be Neris? No. We are again at us and at an even match. This is hype, ladies and gents. Everyone in between, every, every the what the man that makes the mistake will go to the losers. The the man that makes the correct decision over here will proceed to the round of 64. And now we have Neri. We have Neri wanting to savor that glory, but Shiny Mark is a big bulwark over there to that, to savor that glory. Oh dear, uh, my heart is racing, lady. Everybody, uh, they are practically at even damage. Uh, they. Oh, that was a really nice trying to with a read, but the, the landing with the Neri was really nice for Shiny Mark. That was a good way to cancel that Ooh. smash. Will it be it for Neri? No, it wasn't. Will this be? No, it wasn't. So we continue to live. One more stock. One, one more up. chance for Neri. And he needs to... Oh, is this it? No, oh, it no. wasn't. That was it. Mark. Shiny Mark takes the sets home <laughs> after an almost... 3-0 on behalf of Neri. That was a really nice reverse trio, Shiny Mars part. It was a nail biter that last uh, interactions over there, but now uh, that was really, really intense. I mean, if the, this is going to be the first set of uh, 128, I don't know uh, how it's going to be next, but 
right now I'm really liking the situation. Oh, I am even liking it. Uh, but sometimes I don't even want to watch the screen because things are happening so fast and things are so tense that uh, that I am just gonna faint at some point. Yeah, that was really nice. I mean, I see Chuck going to the stage. I mean, he's going to be the, oh, and the one playing next. I don't know who is uh, who is uh, he going to be playing. I don't recognize him uh, from either. this di distance, but uh, okay. maybe in the camera over there we can see. But I mean, we have the action of the best Palutena in the whole planet. Yep. Uh, a little bit of trivia for Chuck. I think I have a little bit because he was on my wave yesterday. And okay, let me see. Yep, his latest super major victory was Genesis 8 on 2022. I, uh, I, in the doubles against Spadago. I mean, with Spadago.